Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on Pure Mathematics 3 from the Edexcel International A level. Uh, we're on chapter 2, functions and graphs, and we're up to 2.5, graphs of modulus functions. We'll be looking in particular at graph sketching with the modulus function. As we discovered in 2.1, when sketching the graph of a modulus function, the easiest thing to do is to ignore the modulus initially and to begin just by sketching f of x. Once you've done this, every negative value then has to be changed into a positive value. And the easiest way to do this is to reflect the negative section of the graph in the x-axis. The part below the x-axis reflects upwards. In 2.1, we looked at straight lines. We'll be looking at curves in this lesson. And as well as that, as well as looking at y equals f of x and y equals the modulus of f of x, we will also be looking at y equals f of the modulus of x, a subtle difference between those two things. Here you get the value for the function, and if it's negative, you change it to positive. Here you look at the value of x before you put it into the function, and if it's negative, you change it to positive. To sketch y equals f of the modulus of x, it's also a reflection, uh, but instead of a reflection in the x-axis, the positive half of f of x gets reflected in the y-axis. The right-hand half of f of x reflects over to the left-hand side. So here's the first example. I think have a go at doing this yourself first and see if you can do it. Uh, when you've done as much as you can, uh, then come back to me. But first of all, pause the video and have a go yourselves. Okay, we'll have a look at this. So we've got a quadratic this time, x squared minus x minus 6, and they want us to go through all three graphs. First of all, just sketching the function, then the modulus of the function, and then f of the modulus of x. We'll begin with the function itself, x squared minus x minus 6. Now that's a quadratic. It's a right way up quadratic because we've got plus in front of the x squared. So we know the general shape of the curve. If it's a quadratic, it will look like that. To sketch it, we're not going to sketch it perfectly. We're not going to do axes with scales. We're just going to find a few key points and then do a sketch of what it looks like. Now to do that, there are certain things that we need to do. Two things really for the moment. If x equals 0, we ask ourselves, what does y equal? And if y equals 0, we ask ourselves, what does x equal? So first of all, if x equals 0, so we substitute x equals 0 into the function. That gives us 0 minus 0 minus 6. So if x equals 0, y is equal to minus 6. That gives us the crossing point on the y-axis. It crosses the y-axis at y equals minus 6. Always slightly more tricky is then asking the question, well, what about if y equals 0? y equals 0, y or f of x will equal 0, and we'll get this, 0 equals x squared minus x minus 6. Now, that quadratic does factorize into x minus 3 times x plus 2, and that'll give us two solutions, x equals 3, and x equals minus 2. Those two solutions, 3 and minus 2, those are the crossing points on the x-axis. So we found three points, three key points for the curve. The crossing point on the y-axis and both the crossing points on the x-axis. First of all, the crossing point on the y-axis, if x equals 0, y equals minus 6, that means the curve is going to cross down there at minus 6. If y equals 0, x equals 3, and x equals minus 2, that gives us these two points, a crossing point at minus 2 on the x-axis and another one at 3 on the x-axis. Well, we know the general shape. We said it's a quadratic. It's a curve the right way up. So now we can draw the curve. That is what it'll look like. That's the function. Now, the next thing I think we were asked to do is find the modulus of the function. You'll notice this part here now has become a dotted line, a dotted curve. That's because this is the part that's going to have to reflect upwards when we do the modulus. So it reflects 
up above the x-axis. And now what we're heading towards is the modulus of the function, the modulus of x squared minus x minus 6. This dotted line is just working out. If you were doing it yourself, I would do it lightly in pencil so that you can then rub it out. And what we have here is the finished version of y equals the modulus of f of x. Notice here, 6 on this axis is the reflection of minus 6, which is where it was originally on the y-axis. Now that brings us to sketching the graph of y equals f of the modulus of x. It's quite possible that you haven't seen this before. To sketch y equals f of the modulus of x, we reflect the positive half of f of x, that's the right-hand half of the graph, and we reflect it in the y-axis. Algebraically, what is going on? Well, algebraically, f of x is this, x squared minus x minus 6. f of the modulus of x means wherever you see x in the equation, that x will change to the modulus of x. So you'll get the modulus of x squared minus the modulus of x minus 6. That's what's happening algebraically. But um, let's head back to the graph. If we want to sketch that, start off with the original function. So start off just with f of x is x squared minus x minus 6. We are not going to want the negative half, negative on the left-hand side for the x values. So we'll get rid of that. The right-hand half, the positive half for the x values, that will reflect in the y-axis. So it will reflect over here to the left-hand side, giving us that. And that's it finished. That is the graph of y equals f of the modulus of x. Okay, a second example. Don't pause the video straight away this time. I think I'll show you the original function and then let you have a go at doing two and three. So this time the function is sine x. We need to sketch the function, same as before, the modulus of the function and f of the modulus of x. Now, the point of this isn't that you can sketch sine x. So that is what sine x looks like. Uh, from minus 360 degrees through to plus 360 degrees, which was what they asked us to do. Okay, do pause the video now. Have a go at drawing the modulus of the function. And then have a go at drawing of f of the modulus of x. Try and do both those things. Okay. We'll have a look at this together. So first of all, we were asked to draw the graph of y is the modulus of the function. Well, if we're doing y is the modulus of the function, then the bits underneath the axis, those are going to reflect upwards. And that'll give us that. That's the modulus of the function. The uh, only other thing they asked us to do was f of the modulus of x. Again, you would just start with the normal graph, y equals f of x, y equals sine x. If we're doing f of the modulus of x, this left-hand side, we're not going to need, just get rid of it. And it's the right-hand side that gets reflected in the y-axis. And that will give us that, a curious looking curve. But that would be y equals f of the modulus of x. Okay, that gets us to the end of this lesson. If you have the textbook, go to page 30 and have a go at exercise 2e. Cheerio.